Hey everybody, it's Michael Steele, host of the Michael Steele Podcast. Each week I have a discussion about the key political and cultural issues of our day, joined by America's leading activists, experts, and academics for a conversation that transcends political boundaries. So join me each week as we work through real solutions, have honest conversation, and just keep it fresh. Listen to the Michael Steele Podcast in the Spreaker Podcast Player app, where you can also comment on individual episodes. New episodes available every week on the Spreaker Podcast Player app. Face Palm America, I'm Beowulf Rockland. FacepalmAmerica.com is, as always, where you can get more information about the show. Listen to past episodes, catch up on all the latest stuff, connect with us on social media. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a very basic website. But you can go there, and you can get information about us, and that's totally fine. We encourage you to do so. Um, it, it's, it's not elaborate. It's just a humble, basic website in a vast sea of ones that are designed much better. Um, but, you know, what's the point of having a website? It's, it's not to, to gaze upon lovingly most of the time. Um, it's supposed to be functional, I think, and it serves its purpose. If you want to give us a call or send us a message, you can do that at 202-656-6271. And we've gotten a couple of messages uh, this week, and we'll read them a little bit later on during the program. So I told you last week that my guess was that uh, Joe Biden and the DNC, after his horrendous campaign-destroying debate performance... Uh, they were going to dig their heels in. They were um, not going to step down. That Biden was going to keep going. He was going to wrap his uh, cold fingers around the presidency um, and uh, not to let them be pried off. And sure enough, that is uh, kind of what he's been doing. That is kind of what he's been doing. President Joe Biden said Friday at a campaign rally in the key battleground state of Wisconsin, where last I saw the poll aggregates uh, had him dead even. You know, I'm going to check that because I'm not sure I've checked that since the debate. But I'm, I'm going to look at a, a poll aggregate, you know, the latest series of polls. Oh, Oh, my goodness, no, it's not dead even like it was before. Trump is actually up by two points in Wisconsin in the latest poll aggregation. I wonder why that is. <sighs> Let me tell you why that is. It's because Joe Biden had a horrific debate performance. He, he, is, he is old and he is not at the level of functionality that we expect of a president of the United States. He looked bad against Donald Trump. And um, you can see the results. Okay, he was at a campaign rally, state of Wisconsin, where he's now down by two points to Donald Trump since this happened. That's an aggregation of polls. That's not an individual poll. So that's a bit more reliable. And he says he's staying in the 2024 presidential race and expressed confidence that he would beat President, former President Donald Trump despite concerns about a disastrous debate performance last week. Biden said that people are trying to push him out of the race. Let me say as clear as I can, I'm staying in the race, Biden said. I'll beat Donald Trump. Now, according to this story, Biden initially misspoke and said he would beat Trump again in 2020. 
because that's the kind of error that he is prone to nowadays. And then seemed to correct himself and said, we're going to do it again in 2024. At the beginning of the speech, Biden mocked Trump for his own verbal stumbles. Now, he's completely correct to do this. Yes. We, we, we know from years of experience, and let me reemphasize it, that Donald Trump says crazy things. And he goes on weird, meandering tangents. And he says things also that you would not expect and you would not want of a president of the United States. And he should step down, too, for the good of the country. In fact, I I believe it was the Philadelphia Inquirer, sort of as a trolling response to the New York Times when they said, that Joe Biden should step down for the good of the country, said that Donald Trump should step down and exit the race for the good of the country. I agree with both those things. I I agree with the Philadelphia Inquirer that Donald Trump should step down. He should step down immediately. He should have stepped down a long time ago. He should have resigned. He should. He, he, yes, absolutely. This this is. <laughs> let me let me just emphasize. If, if you don't understand this already, that this is not about Trump being good or sane or anything close to presidential material. No one should vote for Donald Trump. That's a, a, a bad thing. And the reason, and I will emphasize this a bunch during my comments today. The reason that I want Joe Biden to leave the presidential race, Joe has got to go, is that I desperately do not want Donald Trump to be president. And if he stays in the race, damaged as he is, that's exactly what's going to happen. Donald Trump will become president again. And that's exactly why this has to happen. I know there are all sorts of people, and I, 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 I love you dearly. It's, it, I, I, I truly do. I know that your heart is in the right place. You are, you are, you are Democrats. You want this to be a better country. And I, I, I understand the fear of switching to another candidate at this point. I get it. But things are so bad, the image which Joe Biden has created at this point and the reality of his his mental state at this point is such that the decision to leave the race is the only one that is going to defeat Donald Trump in November. This is how we do it. This This is not the mistake that is is going to cause defeat. Victory is not assured in either case. But if we don't shift candidates at this point, Trump will almost assuredly win. Trump will almost assuredly win. And we cannot afford that. We do not want that as a nation. So again, at the beginning of his speech... Biden mocked Trump for his own verbal stumbles, of which there have been many. They have been innumerable. And Trump said on 1 4th of July, when he was president, and this is true, I remember when this happened, that George Washington's army won the Revolutionary War by taking control of the airports from the British. Do you remember that? He did say that. Trump is nuts. And Trump is dangerous. And that is why we cannot afford to run a candidate like Joe Biden. And that's where I am coming from. Now, you may want, okay, we know Wisconsin. He's down, Biden is, uh, two points in a polling aggregation through real clear politics. And I know real clear politics, you know, they, they lean slightly to the right. 
Um, but they're taking an aggregation of actual polls. And this is reflected in other organizations, and I will, I will read you some of the information around that. The polls are not looking good for Joe Biden. Not in Wisconsin, not in other places. And again, let me emphasize to you <laughs> that really the only polls that you should be paying attention to, I mean, aggregated polls are better because they take multiple polls into account and that tends to minimize polling errors or biases. So that's good. And you should be particularly paying attention to state polls because I will remind you again, we do not have national elections for president in this country. We have state by state elections. States decide how their electoral votes are divvied up. But in the vast majority of cases, whoever wins the state wins all the electoral votes in that state. And so the only polling that matters in order to be able to predict what is really going to happen, especially when you had Trump win in 2016 to begin with, losing the popular vote, because the popular vote doesn't matter. Unfortunately, only the electoral vote matters. And so it's got to be state by state that you pay the most attention to. One week, according to Newsweek, after the CNN presidential debate, polls suggest that former President Donald Trump has gained ground against President Joe Biden. Both Biden and Trump faced a wave of scrutiny over the debate in Atlanta last Thursday. Yeah, because, I mean, Trump was lying out his butt like he always does. While Trump faced criticism for making myriad untrue statements, CNN's fact check found that he made at least 30 throughout the debate, Biden has been the focused focus for much of the post-debate discussions facing loud calls to withdraw from the race over his sluggish performance, which did little to quell concerns about his age. Biden has resisted those calls to leave the race. His campaign said he had a cold during the debate. <laughs> Look, if you believe that, if you believe that he had a cold during the debate, and that's the reason, then he's had a cold for the last couple of years. Because if you go back and you look at the interviews that he's given and the unscripted moments that he's had, they have all been almost this bad. This is just the longest, most recent, unscripted version of what's been going on for a long time. And it's sad, I'm sorry, but people get old, and at a certain point, you have to take the car keys from Grandpa. And that's what needs to happen here. We've got to take the car keys from Grandpa. It's, it's not a fun moment, but it's really, really important for some of the same reasons. According to 538's polling aggregate, Trump held an average lead of 2.3 percentage points in recent polls as of Wednesday, up from 0.1% since last Thursday's polls, which were conducted prior to the debate. So this has had an impact. And it's not good for Biden. And if we don't make, if we don't make a change then we really will get Trump, and that we cannot abide. I'm Beowulf Rockland. This is Face Palm America. We'll be right back. <music> Greetings, Face Palm America listener. Thanks so much for listening today. But did you know you could be getting even more serious news and comment? And some of the just plain silly variety, too? Once you finish listening here, go to at FacePalmUSA on Twitter and download still more Facepalm America content. That's at Facepalm USA on Twitter. Don't lapse into despondency. Save our democracy. At Facepalm USA.